guys, welcome back uh, to some more Mortal Kombat 1. Oh wow, Persona 3 Portable is leaving Game Pass this month. Oh, is well, it? Well, that's fine because the new one is coming out this month as well. Oh, okay, I was like, because we gotta do uh, Persona 3 Reloaded coming out. Yeah, I was like, because we gotta do Golden. <laughs> yeah. God, <laughs> Robert's getting flashbacks. I didn't want to start Persona 3 because I don't like Portable. Play it for a little bit and I was like, yeah. Oh, it comes out February, not this month. February 1st. Hmm. Also, I think this was a level of Mortal Kombat at some point. Like the, the statues that are right there. Oh, okay, okay. Isn't this very reminiscent of, um,. The opening of Deadly Alliance in that area? Yeah. Well, this is the Wushi Academy, so it's supposed to be reminiscent of it. It's just different. Right, 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 right. <laughs> this time, Luke Kane's like, I'm not dying this time. Yeah. Also, you're Raiden, right? Yes. Okay. I was I forgot who was, like, you were playing as. This fight was an honor. Oh, he's so mad. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Fight! <laughs> it's nerve for nothing. <laughs> Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. And also, you could definitely use your lethal katana in a sparring match. <laughs> I know, they want to give him a training one. Yeah, they could have just used like a wooden katana. Yeah. yeah, there's one right there. I see it. It's like right there. Look. Then again, this is Nether Room. It's probably asking too much. They're a small indie studio. <laughs> they could have made it look like a little wooden one. They had different ones. Look, I'm looking at it. It's like right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. It's a small indie studio. They can't be asked to do all that. Playing as Raiden is so weird in like the story mode. Yeah, because he does in this part. Yeah, because you're not using his powers. Although I kind of got used to him in normal mode, like normal Raiden, unpowered Raiden. Do you still question my nerve? I do not. Yours was a well-earned victory. You may rest, Raiden. This evening, you will face your final opponent. Fifty bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty, not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. Fight. <laughs> Fuck, that was good. <laughs> the actress for Rio Morales from the Spider Man. Oh, no. <laughs> retweeted Not Safe for Work Art on New Year's Eve. New Year's Hell Day yeah, Day. she did. And she's like, well, I'll leave it up if we keep it fun and then silly and not creepy. And I'm pretty sure it's still up. 
I saw it. I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> you're like, "Wait, wait, 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 like, wait, wait, wait! What account is this?" <laughs> oh no! I saw the person who made that uh, quote tweet her, and I was like, "Wait!" You're, but you're the one that made this, and then I finally worked it on my brain that she just retweeted it. What do you say? Oh, what did they say? Uh, I forgot. Oh yeah, it's still up. Because <laughs> originally she was going to leave it up for 24 hours. Yeah! There is a first time for everything, Kung Lao. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. Could I have? Congratulations, Raiden. For the tournament, you will need this. Forged by the Elder Gods, it gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead, try it. Not the statue, you jackass! The Ark of the Covenant. It is incredible. But is it necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. Look at all them. You guys, I can't believe my mom's paying $15.99 a month for this place. This is amazing. Sindel's daughters, yes. They do not disappoint. We are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course, Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please.
since Shokan. The six armed beings are not Nadas. The monks described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of our world, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. <laughs> to be clear this couldn't wait should i allow tarkatans to infect the city your highness those arrested were harboring some here rather than report them for quarantine the earth realmers cannot be privy to our secrets Li may as sundo's first constable you must show better judgment perhaps that's too much to expect princess melina doesn't seem to like her very much Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. <laughs> Worry expends energy for no purpose, Rin. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Alert. Incoming Stockville. General Shaw. Do not let him goad you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earthrealm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will... Will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earth Realmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable. Lee May. May she defend our realm's glory 
as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Fight. Hmm. And don't get mad at me because your boss got mad at you. Right, I had something to say and it was stuck in my brain. Oh, like, is it back? I yeah, I, I couldn't pull it out until just right now. So, the Steamboat Willie incarnation of Mickey Mouse has now hit public domain. There are two horror projects that came out, or were shown. One's a horrible film that might get uh, sued and taken out by Disney because it doesn't <laughs> necessarily portray Steamboat Willie other than just Mickey Mouse. Uh, the other one is a game similar in style from what we've seen to, um, and the English what's it called? No, 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 um, it's stuck in my brain. Describe it. Lethal Company. Oh. It's very similar in style of Lethal Company. Uh, it's called Infestation 88. Mm. However, it might, uh, be tied to Nazis. It's always Nazis. Or neo Nazis, rather. Thank you for the, you the point. First constable. She runs off ugly crying. <laughs> Trips on the stairs. Sorry. My compliments, Raiden, on a well fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kapala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. In whose army have you served? In what wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. All right, I should explain the neo-Nazi thing instead of just saying it and then like <laughs> not touching on it. Um, so the name Infestation 88 has 8-8 eight, eight in it. 8-8 eight, eight is... Well, 8 is the... H is the 8th letter. So 8-8 eight, eight is H-H. And we all know what that stands for in neo-Nazi culture. Uh, subculture, whatever you want to call it. Um, then the entire title is 14 letters long. 1488 is the dog whistle used by neo-Nazis. I, so, I I feel like you're going way too. <laughs> no, this is a thing. Oh, yeah, like it's body known. It if you know. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm not a racist. Not, I'm, I'm well, okay, well you don't have to be a racist to know about them. But yeah, um, the developers may subscribe to neo-Nazi ideology. Not saying that they do, but it's a pretty weird coincidence. If it is just a coincidence. Also, I thought Reiko's little ribbon thing was on his nipple, not his armor. <laughs> <laughs> also, Reiko's so funny in this game. Like, in the story. Because he comes out, does that little demonstration, and then becomes a jobber. He is pretty good, though. Yeah, when you... Well, mm, when you do you him? Yeah. Felled by a simple farmer.
I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. Sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raven. Though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain, the High Mage of Outworld. Not his given name. But one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, Princess? Uh, I am fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. Though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age, the memories of that strife still linger. My husband, Jared, believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earthrealm is a devoid of all. That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission. You may go. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earthrealmers, but then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, Your Majesty? <sighs> Again with this? If you must. We must act on the Sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises, shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, General. You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. It was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. 
Katana will take your place. What? There are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams. Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just need a time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. Continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next, you face my daughter, Katana. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, Your Highness. I will win this fight. For her, my Empress, and all of Outworld. Fight! <laughs> I missed the mute button until I'm mute. <laughs> That's why I had. <laughs> also, I never picked up that, that like, oh, he's face uh, uh, Kodokan. Or no, mm -hmm. there's Kodo. Uh, Motaro and Shiva. Yeah. <laughs> for my next or for your next opponent, you'll face my daughter. The hot one or like the other hot one? <laughs> it's just silent stares like <laughs> right. Right. Fine, you know I'm right. <laughs> Raiden's just like they hated him because he spoke the truth. <laughs> also, I am still not used to Melina speaking in a normal voice. It's weird. Yeah. I don't like it. Even though it's still like the same actress doing both voices. Like the the one where you see and then normal. Yeah. <laughs> Kick Crash Red keeps spamming that same move. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you fight well, Princess. As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. It's a testament to your abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains. Defender of the Nabala Coast. As has his family for generations, General Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere fraction of them. A full recitation would take days. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> Heir to the thrumpy throne. Like, I'm, <laughs> now I'm just making, just, sure you're just making all this up. Right. Defender of the blah, blah, blah. All right. Did you just make up all those words? Or like, are those real things? I right, and later them. the thing's like, we must head to the blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh shit. Alright. I don't like Shao's design in this game. I didn't like it in 11. I don't like when they make him half dragon. I understand why they did it. Oh, he's always been half dragon. Well, nah, he hasn't always had the appearance of half dragon. What's <laughs> win? <laughs> but, uh, I don't like when he has a scaly back. Or claws. Or horns. I'm such a meaty dick. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah. 
I do like the made him Krampus though. Yeah, the Krampus design for the Christmas season that was pretty cool. Oh, I keep forgetting to have the elemental. Go! Money for it. Like when Midnight Suns didn't give us those costumes. I have done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earth Realm wins. <clears throat> May I assist you? Stay away, Earth Realmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Anything else? Shang Tsung is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agent. It's a tricky mission. I'd rather Raiden go along than this one. Hey! This one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. I am breaking my word with Empress Sindel by sending you into Outworld without her knowledge. Due to the tournament, Raiden is now a familiar face there. Sending him will only increase your risk of being discovered. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's Qi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the Elder Gods protect you. How old are you? Five? What can I say? These boots weren't made for walking. If that is the most pain you feel today, consider yourself lucky. Oh, I'm already lucky. I've got Sento strapped to my back. I will reclaim it, Cage. 
Got three million? It's yours. You know I don't have it. I bet you Yakuza pals could come up with it. Oh, that's right. You blew them off. Ah, if there's one lesson Hollywood's taught me, it's never burn bridges. You never know who can help. The Yakuza are leeches. Bleeding out those too weak to resist. I grew up in that life, and I never understood it. Why my gain required others' pain. I got out. I need my clan out, too. We can't be part of their crimes any longer. What's your precious say? That Shang Tsung is among those... things. Oh, my fans are gonna go nuts cosplaying them a cage gun. Still. If he squirms, I cannot extract marrow. That's Shang Tsu. Let's jump him after he's done. Oh, in fists of iron. We did this thing where, like, we not basing strategy on your movies, Cage. Let me go! You can't do this! The wound will heal in time. It is a small price to pay for progress. On second thought, this scene's playing fine without us. <gasps> yeah, I say we let him finish it. We have to save Shang Tsung. Liu Kang needs him alive. How did he do that? you'd want to, but you can't. You're one of his minions. You'll die in his place. Alright. So, we uh, fortunately have reached time for this episode. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope everyone's having a good day, staying safe and healthy, and we'll see you guys next mission. Bye. Oh, bye. Don't forget to subscribe!